Hello everybody and welcome back. I am your host, Old Blue Eyes S41. We are uh, playing Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Uh, let's dive right in. Last episode, you'll remember, we confessed our love to the priestess Aneska. Well, priestess. Um, I guess none would be a better word than priestess. Uh, and she confessed her love for us and then we ran off into the night only to be chowed down on by Miss Ekaterina here. We are now a vampire. As you see, we now have cool vampire abilities. Uh, my favorite being Potence that raises your damage. Blood healing, always a good one. Uh, strength is always cool. Uh, celerity becomes very powerful later in the game because that gives you extra attacks and move speed. Uh, pretty intense stuff. And then your feed, which will be important for you to eat. Go ahead and cast blood pe uh, healing a couple times. I forget how to cast spells. Oh, right clicking. Uh, there we go. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Chow down on some rats. All right, cool. Do not disobey me, child. All right, we have our partner Wilhelm. Uh, he's a Bruja vampire, just like ourselves, and he's got some pretty intense abilities. He's even better with the feral side of the abilities than we are at this point. Uh, he can use feral claws, which is a really powerful spell or skill spell. Uh, and yeah, and then he's got these Scrolls of Awaken. Scrolls of Awaken are pretty much the most powerful item in the game because they allow you to raise party members from the dead. They are in short supply. Oh, did hit the escape button again. One of these days I'll learn. Probably right when I finish this let's play. Is a scholar, not a warrior born. She would keep a fledgling studying vampire lore in her nest till Gehenna comes, and never hurl them from the nest to test their wings. But I cannot spend hours debating canine wisdom in a university. Give me a stout broadsword in my hand and the sweet taste of my foe's blood on my tongue, and I have all the wisdom I need. And I suspect thou art akin to me. I am not akin to thee, Blood Guzzler. I strike only those that deserve my steel. I do not murder the innocents to gorge on their blood. Thou shalt feed upon blood, or thou shalt die. But thou need not kill to do so. Drink only so much blood as will sustain thee. Suffer thy prey to live on, for to kill during the feeding is to violate our Promethean ethic. And that way lies the beast. The beast? A beast born of Cain's sin doth coil within thy breast, Christoph. Keep it at bay or be lost forever. Acts of cruelty unleash that beast until it rules thee as it rules many of Azra's kin. The beast made them madmen? Nay, the mad vampires are called Malkavian. Shouldst thou meet one, God help thee. Shouldst thou need his assistance, God cannot help thee. Nay, the beast is not mere madness, but demonic possession by the curse of Cain. We Prometheans are wayfarers in the land of the beast, but we stray not from the road of humanity, the Via Humanitas. By our acts of compassion are we saved from the jaws of the beast. Remember this always, or be devoured from within. Now basically what we're seeing there is vampires, essentially vampire the masquerade, have been humanity's kind of silent curators. They've been guiding them, helping them out. Uh, even though they do feed on them, they're not, they don't necessarily want to kill them. They're not evil, you know. Thou hast life everlasting, so long as thou keepest thy pallid flesh hidden from the sun's hateful rays. The life-giving sun only brings death to the likes of us. Each day we must retreat to our haven in the chambers below the university. That's pretty self-explanatory. That's pretty standard in vampire lore. Sunlight burns. This isn't twilight. There's no sparkly the sun-time vampires. I'm not even gonna grab that. Silver coins I'll take. Seems like these barrels respawn each time we wake up, so I'm going to be pretty liberal with looting them. Alright, let's go take a gander. Um, how much gold do I have? Only 86 still. Uh, so we don't have a ton of gold. We're supposed to go find, I believe, the node fragment. We go to the Petron Hill Monastery. This is kind of our first real quest, especially as a vampire. Let's go. I believe the monastery is this way. Yeah. 
Look at me. Memory game on point. Now I'm going to go ahead and save here just because we had a lot of exposition there. Slot 4, game 4. Everything is proper. This is a place if I you need to. Faint. The hunger overcomes thee. The beast strengthens as thou weaken from lack of blood. Canst thou feel him uncoiling in thy heart? Thou must feed. Feed or die, Christoph, for I shall kill thee before I let the beast claim thee. And this old man's just a setup for you to learn how to feed. Go there, right click on him. You watch the enemy's blood drain. Uh, it's actually a pretty powerful ability if you use it. Only what thou needs, Christoph. No more. Behold. His wound vanishes. Monsieur shouldn't drink so much wine, eh, Christophe? Do not worry. He'll wake up and know nothing of what has happened. Most mortals find great pleasure in the dark kiss. Ekaterina tells us that in Carthage, the mortals happily submitted to it. And we're pretty set on blood now. Blood's looking good, health's looking good. We are ready to continue These our journey. Powers tempt me to dark acts. How easily could I rain devastation on all who vex me? Thy fear and thy power conspire to make of thee a beast. Seek thee an anchor for thy humanity, a rock to cling to when storms come. Banezka. Love for a mortal is the most dangerous of all anchors. I must see Anezka. That is most unwise. The cheerful world of daylight is lost to thee. I must see her again, just to look upon her for a moment. Ekaterina would not be pleased. Oh, very well. Shouldst thou display valor on our mission this night, I shall take thee to the convent, but only for a moment to glimpse her as she sleeps. Now come, our mission lies ahead. I mean, Kristoff's got it bad. Uh, Golden Lane, I don't think we need to go there. Petron Hill Monastery. And this is where the difficulty in this game really ramps up. The monastery is a pretty hard place to get through, at least in my experience. This is probably the mo most part of the game that I played Behold, as a kid. I played Petron probably Hill 15, monastery, 20 times. Haven of the Cappadocian vampires in Prague. The monks are vampires? Nay, the Cappadocians lurk in the desecrated crypts below the monastery out of sight of the monks who provide them with fresh blood. Only those monks that serve Garanol know the real master of the monastery. Uh, okay, we can go in that door. Do some ex poking around, some exploring. There's usually not too much found off the beaten path in this game. It's a pretty linear game mission? overall. A mission of misfortune. Wise and noble Garanol is friend and ally to Ekaterina. I take no pleasure in storming his home, but Ekaterina has divined that the Cappadocians have stolen from her. We seek to retrieve a precious fragment of the Book of Nod, the wisdom of the ancient Cainites. Why would Garanol steal from her? We know not. Until we learn all, we cannot let them know we serve a Katharina. Alright. This is the kind of game I'd really like them to see a, a sequel to, a modern day, either a, a remaster or... Just some kind of a sequel. I always love the vampire world. So many cool stories to tell in it. But, I don't think we'll ever see that happen. I'm not sure how popular- Oh, some Cappadocians. And they're battling us. I think, yeah, my number- Number pads. You see that little bar down here? Uh, the orange one that's filling up? That is your beast meter. Once that fills up, and you-, you That fills up by you taking damage. Uh, you lose control of your character and he goes into a frenzy for a little while. Okay, leather armor. You can see your armor actually changes as you- uh, gear up, so he looks a little more manly. Uh, let's give this to this guy. Alright, you got some cloth. Alright, onward we go. Uh, let me get this super bar out. I'm gonna go ahead and save again. Uh, we know how 
deadly encounters can be in this game. And I would rather not have to replay all that. I'm gonna use potency. You'll see how potent potency really is. Yeah, he really shot that guy down pretty handily. He dropped something. What did he drop? Um, it sounded like he dropped something. Maybe, maybe that was just my ears. Um, let me mess this chick up. Oh, there's a bunch down here. Now, luckily, Wilhelm's potented up as well. His mind's about to wear off. One thing you can do if you're feeling really cheeky. I'm gonna heal up. And you got him hurt like you can go do this. You have to time it right though. Alright, we got him. Let us soothe the Oh no, no, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you right click. You can actually transfer blood between your guys that way. I'm actually gonna have him. Oh, he doesn't have his feet. I gotta do that thing. Skills. Okay, feed. Yeah, you gotta get your feed down here. Cause now that we got her running away from us, Wilhelm really needs blood. So he's gonna do this. Oh no, he's not gonna do that. Get her. You can do it, bud. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, well, that didn't work. Failure, but at least we have some Vitae. He'll drink that. We'll give Wilhelm some healing. You can see his heals a lot better than Kristoff's. That's because he has much better skills. Alright, now we are continuing on. We got ourselves a hand axe. $25.99. Nope, not nearly as good. Uh, we'll go ahead and give that to Wilhelm for now. In case we find another shield, I want to go one-handed with him rather than two-handed. I remember not to hit escape. I'm actually going to go ahead and save a again. I'm pretty much going to try to get in the habit of saving after almost every encounter, because I know one of these encounters is going to pace me. One's going to not go my way eventually, and this is probably going to be the one. Oh, I'm in the middle. This is not good. Run! Uh, that was me trying to cast an off spell. That makes him stop fighting you. Uh, and kind of like dance around, but he's saved, obviously. Alright. These guys are f falling pretty handily. We're, we're killing things pretty efficiently, I'd say. Pretty happy with how things are going right now. Uh, I'm not sure we'll need poison. Oh, man, that rat ran through the wall. Well, I guess there must have been a quote-unquote hole under there. I will just say that uh, to not break my immersion barrier. Alright, we got some, we got a, uh, a minion and a chick. I really want to feed on one of these if I can. I'm going to kill this rat real quick. Uh, that's okay. uh, he just uses Feral Claws ability, as you can see. And he is now just wrecking face. He just killed both those people. Ah, uh, there we go. And this is what happens. And now you can actually, you actually still don't want to kill them by feeding on them. Because uh, you'll still lose humanity for doing that, even though they're an enemy. Uh, which I don't get. So we'll go ahead and now we'll let her go. Kristoff's almost full blood. And then we can then we can finish beating her effectively. Alright, we are rocking and rolling now. I think that lever over here, Scroll of Awaken, I'll take that. That'll come in handy. This. What? I, I don't, I don't know. You think it would make a noise or a click or a gate would open sound or something, but just like silence is always a little awkward. Got a bracelet. Dagger. Those are pretty decent to sell, I think. Uh, if not, they don't take up much inventory space anyways, so I am not worried about it. Another dagger. Some silver coins. 
So yeah, we did open this gate, I th think. Uh, maybe. Alright, get pwned, bud. Oh, slay time, slay time. Get that falchion rocking. Oh, ooh. Man, these guys, minions are, are kind of annoying. Man, that guy, almost, he almost killed me. Oh, that guy was odd. Did you see that circle down there? When I hit him, it went away. Kristoff, or Wilhelm, awed him and actually made him stop fighting us for a moment, but I went and I ruined that with my blade. Oh, there's, oh, there's a guy here. I'm gonna take control of Wilhelm and try to get him to feed on this guy. Uh, well, not, Kristoff's gonna paste him, I guess. I guess that works too. This must open, oh, emerald, he's back seat. That must open the other gate up yonder. Uh, man, these guys got daggers galore chilling on peeing grass. It's gonna be worth some money. And of course, we are going to save. And continue on our journey. So we are getting closer and closer to the node that we are looking for, which is part Thou of a dost book. Fight thy allies with great zeal, Wilhelm. I take no pleasure in it. I just do what must be done. The only one I will not fight is Garanal, the leader of the Cappadocians. I chose to strike this knight because Garanal and his assistant Serena have an audience with the Knight Prince of Prague, Rulof Brandel, and will not be here. Yeah, she got it. She got it. Oh. She's drawing lots of fire here, Wilhelm. Get over here and help, bud. There we go. All right. Come here, you walking bags of XP. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, you stupid Cappadocian. Yeah. Scroll of Blood Healing. I think scrolls allow you to use spells without actually paying the blood cost for them. That's so essentially a free healing spell. Uh, two zombies got wrecked pretty handily. Oh, there's a rat trying to hide back there. Ooh, unknown Vitae. Those are cool. Uh, Holy statues sell for a lot. If you find them early when you're playing as human Kristoff, they're pretty cool, but. May mean nothing to a not dick Oh, what is that? Oh, that was creepy. Alright. That was actually one of the best things that could happen right there. I was gonna drink a bunch of blood stuff, but... Now I do not need to. There you go. Sometimes you just need to get to the right distance. Once again, you don't want to actually kill. Oh no. I think I just lost humanity for that. Uh, actually, no, it usually says you lose humanity when you lose humanity. I think since it was a zombie and not an actual, like, vampire person, I didn't lose for that. I might have, though. I don't know. Man, you used up all your uh, healing stuff, guy. You're killing me, Smalls. There you go. There you go. Now, stop using spells so much, dude. I wonder if there's an AI option. I don't see one yet. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you, skeletons. Come here and get it, guy. Get some. Get some, skeletons. Man, these Cappadocians are definitely dealing with the dead over here. They're up to some funny business. We got skeletons, all sorts of undead hordes chilling in this monastery. Oh, we got some rats. Get the rats! Uh, that was easy. We both just one-shot those guys. I remember earlier in the game when those things would literally almost kill us each and every time? Not anymore. More dark worship. Is there no end to the vampiric taste for blasphemy? 
Geronald celebrates the transfiguration of death. But I do not share his fondness for the grave. I have died once to become a Cainite and do not seek to die again. Oh, so that's the Cappadocian stick. They're all death obsessed, which is why they're carrying little sickles. Oh, he tried to. Oh, he tried to go after me with the bite. I didn't know NPC vampires would do that. All right, cool. Uh, what are you doing, guy? What are you doing? No, 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 f you do, dude. Watch this game right here. Oh, let me get him. Oh, that was it. That was it. I'm gonna get killed trying to feed off this guy. There we go. There we go. I wish Kristoff would go fight the thing obviously shooting him in the back. But no, he's just gonna stand there because he likes the feeling of arrows, I guess. He really wanted to kill that vampire. Jeez, Kristoff. Come on, guy. Oh, of course. As soon as I got off Wilhelm, he used all the blood I just got for him, and he didn't even use it for healing. Probably got blood strength going. No, he's got celerity. Oh, man. Yeah, fighting with AI is a pretty big part of this game. Uh, as you can see. Well, we are here on the second floor, just on the first level, so this is probably a good point to stop. This has been another adventure with your host, Old Blue Eyes 41. I'm going to go ahead and save. This has been Vampire the Masquerade Redemption, Episode 4. I will see you guys next time on Episode 5. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.